thank you for being a good daughter and you know not have having to worry about typical teen stuff you know i have to worry about getting her to and from church and all her 1001 functions and if that's all i have to worry about as a teen then i'll take that and i know i'm not the best mom in the yes, world you are. Since your girl Joy and Sydney, Sydney. <laughs> we are back with another Basil Banger. Well, I haven't been at school for two days, but those of you who don't know, I'm a middle school English teacher. Okay, so we went to a training. Well, I asked to go to a training today. Um, capturing kids' hearts, and it was really nice. It was two days from eight to five. <laughs> we came in as strangers, we left as friends. It was about it was about 75 to 100 people. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that she would put us in different groups and so on and so forth. So one of the things we learned about doing positive affirmations in a class, tell me something good. So the whole training was on capturing the kids' hearts and building those relationships and how to control your class, but in a positive way. So we ended yesterday's session on a positive note. I didn't do it, so I came up with something real quick. <laughs> I forgot. You had to bring in... Uh, something that was sentimental and I thought about bringing in my shoes those of you who know me who been following me in your camera no that's not sentimental don't put that in my camera no what? okay so um but I did have something with me that I've been carrying with me for a long time so when it was my turn I was like Ooh, Joy what are you gonna talk about what are you gonna talk about on your keys. Oh, that would have been a good one. Yeah. The elephant on my keys, Sydney said. That would have been a good one. I thought that's what it was. No, that would have been a good one. I couldn't think. But I did have something on me, but I'm going to save that for my vlog and I'm going to talk about that. And hopefully on my vlog, you guys will do the activity that I had to do. So I try to keep my vlog, you know, have my vlogs meaningful or my videos. I, I get confused with vlog and videos. I try to have them meaningful, not just, oh, okay, we're going to throw ice cubes at each other. <laughs> Maybe that's why my views are low, whatever. So anyway, when we got in today, so we all shared, people were crying. It was just, you know, the things that they brought in. Some brought in, um... Uh, medals, medals of honors from their grandfathers or somebody who's been in the um, military. So it was different stories all around. There could have been about 30 to 40 people in my circle. She divided the circles. So quiet, 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 quiet. So I shared a, a story about me and the thing that I had that I've been walking around with for a long time, but I'll talk about it on my blog. So I shared that and some other stuff and you know, other people connected with my story, blah, blah, blah. So that was that day. People were crying and my voice was shaky because I was trying not to cry. I was like, no, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 no. Like be a man, be a man, Jordan, be a man. <laughs> I was trying not to cry. Don't go anywhere else. Let me finish. <laughs> so on, on everybody's chair or whatever, there was a brown paper bag. There was a brown paper bag and she said, you know, decorate your name. So we did an, uh, another activity, your first name plus an adjective that describes your first name, but you had to use the same letter. Like, um, awesome Andrea, uh, marvelous Mike. So, what do you think? Well, you saw mine. Nah. And mine was joyful joy, right? So I decorated, she said, decorate your bag and then put your bags in the front of the room and you know, people can say positive things about you. That's what we did at UMR, maybe but with journals. So like you would write in their journal. You know. 
So that was my bag. You know, I was just doodling away and stuff. Before we got our day started, say something positive, say something good. Do you have anything good to say? And I talked about one of my students and how the alternative seating works for this particular student in my class who's, I wouldn't say necessarily special needs, but he's under that umbrella and how he excels in my class because he's on the bike and <clears throat> It works for him, so I said it lets me know that all the work and hard work I put into my class, all the hours and the begging for, you know, gadgets in my room, that's going to help the kids. And this kid, you know, he excels in my class due to those things. So I said, I, you know, it lets me know that everything I have done is not in vain. Blah, 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 blah. So, and I said some other stuff, so then I sat my tail down, right? Cause I don't wanna monopolize all the time in the room, cause you know I'm a talker, right? And so other people said that my story, what I shared the day before, how it touched them because their sister and blah, 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 I don't wanna talk about it because I'm gonna talk about it on my blog, but my story, how it touched, touched so many people in the room, blah. So at the end of the day, fast forward to the end of the day, um, you know, she throughout the day, she was like, you know, write more positive affirmations to somebody. You can drop it in their bags, you know, throughout the session. So at the end of class, she was like, okay, don't forget to pick up your bags. And she put her business card. I don't know what she put in here. And I had all these notes in mine <laughs> and some of the notes, they say, uh, you are incredible. You are an inspiration to me. Keep up um, the good work. Thank you for sharing your story and being open and honest. You rock. Joy, you can tell she is passionate about what she does and is a positive role model for her students. Joy's inspirational stories of how she's reaching the kids with challenges and um, behavior. Um, your smile and positivity you bring to the room is infectious. Thank you for opening up, not only to us, but to your kids too. They deserve, deserve someone in their lives like you. Oh, and so I almost start crying because I didn't read the notes until I got to my car. And it just um, affirms that the stories and my transparency it's something that I feel as though I don't feel like I have to do it. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's what I've been born to do is to share my stories, to share my light of determination, perseverance, never giving up, keep fighting even when things get tough. And I shared one of my stories and look how my stories touched so many people that I've only met for two days. And just by sharing a part of me, a part of my life, and how I didn't give up, and other people came up to me throughout the day, you know, what did you do? How did you do this? How did you overcome this? Because I know someone who's doing that. So it just lets me know. Some people are like, why you tell your business? Why don't you tell yours? You know, you do what you do, I do what I do. And I know that my stories you know, touch lives of others. Not everybody's gonna love joy. Not everybody's gonna love my crazy personality, my big hair, my nose ring. Somebody got problems with my nose ring, the way I dress, the way I talk. Yeah, I teach English, but yeah, I'm a little ghetto too. That's never gonna change. <laughs> you know, I know how to be. So, you know, I'm different facets. I could turn it on, turn it off, but what I will never turn off is me and I'll continue being who I am because I know it'll shine some light on someone else. So, and that's why I tell my story. What do you think, Sydney? <laughs> yeah, so it, it was a nice ending um, to get um, all of these affirmations and I'm armed with so many things to take back to school. The presenter, she came up to me 
you know, closer to the end, just before, maybe two hours before the end of the day. And she talked to me about some things, maybe some opportunities. I don't know, we'll see. So that was interesting and special. She's like, there's just something about you. You know, you just light up an entire room. And I was like, y'all didn't even see me on 10. Y'all saw me on about five. <laughs> And so she talked to me. I gave her my information. So we'll see where it goes. But that was um, that was nice to hear from her as well. Um, for maybe an opportunity, maybe not. We'll see. I don't want to talk too much about that, child. Let's see what happens. But I'm very interested. Very interested. Um, well, Sydney, I want to say that I'm very proud of you, and I'm happy to be a mom. And I want to say thank you for never complaining when you don't have certain stuff or about oh, food gets low. Thanks and for you being guys, a good mom. yeah, thank you for being a good daughter, and you know, not have, having to worry about typical teen stuff. You know, I have to worry about getting her to and from church and all her one thousand and one functions. And if that's all I have to worry about as a teen, then I'll take that. And I know I'm not the best mom in the yes, world. You are. I'm not Sydney, but I try my best in what I have, okay? Mm -hmm. And you know if I had it, I would give you the world, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And sometimes I want to apologize because I can't do certain things. But you can't apologize for it. Okay. She had another mom? No. No? Not in a million years. No. Well, thank you. Oh, I've just been crying all day, child. Hugging people at work, they're crying. I mean, at that training, they're crying. I was, they made me cry because they were saying positive things to me. To me about my stories and how I touched them. Then they're crying. Then I'm crying. I've been crying all day. Okay, my fish died yesterday. No, you spoke you on me first. Oh, I positive things about you. Yeah. Um, she knows how to make people laugh and make <laughs> people feel better and make people feel loved and welcomed. But what do I do for you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she provides a roof over my head and gets me things that I don't deserve and. It's me, Popeye sandwiches. So I guess it's the small things too, huh? Yeah. But every little thing matters. <laughs> yeah, and then her poor fish died yesterday. Oh yeah. After I just did a video on my last wishes, so I hope you watched that video, Sydney. I did. You did? So you know where that folder is and stuff? I think so. But there there there's a there will be a, um an envelope in there. Step by step things what to do not to freak out because you know when someone passes away, ah! you know, so you know, even if you guys are destroyed, I want you to have the step by step instructions on what to do because it's a lot. But hopefully not for another fifty nine thousand years. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then We'll be dead together. <laughs> <laughs> that was depressing. No, it wasn't. People should know what to do. Instead of being caught out there not knowing what to do, not knowing what paperwork is, it's better to it's better to have, have and not need, need than, than to need and need not have. have. Like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>